Hi, I'm Alan Tepper. Today in Beyond Podcasting, a detailed conversation with Mark Bacos of CleanFeed, the online service that allows remote recording and live broadcasting that's even better than a double ender and includes built in virtual carts for pre recorded clips in the Pro version. Thanks for tuning in to BeyondPodcasting.com, where we recognize that your online radio show is much more than just a podcast. Your show can be broadcast live, which is not a podcast. Your show can be heard on a website, which isn't a podcast either. Of course, your online radio show can and should also be syndicated as a podcast via RSS, where your listeners can subscribe using a standard podcatcher or your show's own branded app for Android and iOS. BeyondPodcasting.com covers microphones, interfaces, mixers, production software, recording techniques, best practices, and more. Now enjoy another episode of BeyondPodcasting.com with your host, Alan Tepper. You're listening to Beyond Podcasting. I'm Alan Tepper in the studio in Miami, and I have Mark from somewhere in the United Kingdom, I believe, from CleanFeed on the other end. Is that correct, Mark? It is. Hi, Alan. How are you doing? Okay. And uh, we are apparently recording because it says red and the counter is moving forward. So we are now recording this conversation using cleanfeed.net, a wonderful web service, which I have already used for several other interviews, both on beyondpodcasting.com and also on a couple of my other shows, including Capicua FM and also to Radio Global. So I've used it for a few different shows already. And now I'm for the first time experiencing the pro version. And that's why Mark is here to help discuss both the basic one and the pro one and all of the new pro features that have been added. That's right. As you've already found out, the free version allows you to do quite a lot of stuff, actually, um, at, at very high quality. And that was our intention from the very beginning to allow anyone to experience high quality audio over the net. So our, our free package of, of clean feed allows you to do just that, to invite your guests, connect them up. And we even include a uh, recording out of the box in that free version of clean feed, which I think a lot of people have used and have, uh, I think found the, the sheer benefit of, of using the service, which, which I think has been great. Yes. Um, and I would like to clarify, and unlike some of the similar services that are out there, which do an automatic or automated dual ender, your service with CleanFeed does not do that, correct? So that's right. So we send the audio around the internet and as the studio receives it, the studio will record it. So there's pros and cons of of, of each uh, type of system, but the benefit of our system is that what you're hearing is exactly what you're recording. So I think unlike some other systems, you don't get the high quality audio live which can be problematic if you're doing, you know, something that needs that, you know, high quality audio so you can actually get um, the emphasis of of the person at the other end or or even their emotions. So using it this way and recording it uh, live from the studio end means that you're capturing that live moment as it is. And I think it benefits hugely with production workflows and you're not having to wait at the end for, you know, files to upload and files to download. It's instant and it's saved straight at the studio end which is, again, a huge benefit. It also makes clean feed appropriate for a live broadcast, whereas all of the others that do the, the automated dual ender do not. Well, exactly. And it's you may as well fall back to Skype if you're going to do it that way, because like I said, I don't think the audio quality is obviously as, as clean as, as clean feed is live. So the other advantage, of course, is that we allow for mono transmission of audio as well as stereo content. So if you've got a mixer and you've got a stereo output, plug the stereo output straight into your stereo input of your of your sound capturing device on your computer, and and off you go. You know you've got a, a you know full high quality studio output over the internet uh, to wherever you want to send it. So again, we've seen great success of radio stations, for example, that are doing an outside broadcast, and uh, they can pretty much broadcast everything from the remote location back to the studio, which has been, I think, really well received. Um, we've had no complaints and it's been very stable and again the latency even on our stereo side of the platform is is being very low so again you know great for live broadcasts 